Hey y'all, welcome back to my living room and dining room and kitchen and well, the construction space. <laughs> and yeah, um, today I am happy. The place is relatively clean, but most of all, my wife is back. So um, I can finally get her opinion on things. Um, but what we've gotten done yesterday, I didn't do much because I was working on the lathe. So that video came out, um, but I've got all the mudding basically done. I have to do one final sanding and then a quick touch up on all of the mudding. I think the ceiling is going to mash in really nicely. I'm going to be sanding out this area in between where the two soffits are so that it uh, blends easier. Um, but all of the mudding is basically done. Um, flooring wise I got all of these staples out and so the whole floor is cleaned. I'm liking that. Uh, no more tripping on staples and jamming them in your knee. Uh, I'm mudding out, there's a, like a eh, 16th of an inch to an 8th of an inch jump between that laminate and this. Well, actually, they're, they're two different types of post floor. Um, so I'm just feathering that out with some fast dry mud. Filled in where the wall used to be and uh, sanding. So hopefully this will all be ready for flooring um, Monday or Tuesday. Um, hopefully I'll be doing the paint. Well, the painting is the next thing. Um, I'll be painting this wall and then all the way around back to here um, before I put down the flooring. I'm going to leave the painting of this wall until I do the living room because um, that'll be a different color, but I'll just have to be careful with it being with the flooring down. So hopefully the painting will be done. My goal is for the painting to be done uh, Monday, though I might not have the mudding done. It might not be until Tuesday. Um, and then the day after painting, then we jump in on flooring. Um, yeah, my life is um, a lot of work right now. <laughs> but the cool thing is we've got the cabinets in, and so we're actually playing with the finish. Um, this was the water locks on the white oak flooring. And these are two samples. I picked one that was about as dark as it'll possibly get and about as light as it'll possibly get. Just trying to play with it. And I love the tone quality on the water locks. It's just really beautiful. So the whole floor is going to be that mishmash. Then this is the hickory board um, of the counters. Um, this is with the uh, Minwax. Here it is, Early American Stain. Um, it's one of my favorite stains um, for, well, general use. But that's this is just stain. This is stain plus wipe on poly, and that's just wipe on poly. Uh, I left the stain to dry for about an hour before putting the wipe on poly. So when I put the wipe on poly, it actually took off some of the stain in the rag. So I'm let this cure overnight, and I'm going to put wipe on poly up here and water locks down here and see what the tone qualities are in that. And then that will pick out what finish we actually want for the cabinets. Oh, and you're probably going to want to see the cabinets. Let's go out this way. Up, 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 up. Hey, look, we have cabinets. So we've got this pantry unit. Um, which I'm really liking. I like this double door system. They're not high quality, um, but they're exactly what we're looking for. Um, good for the price. And they're that really sharp corner edge. I'm going to be breaking all the edges with a plane um, and getting those ready. I'm probably going to be putting on um, a little square button in the end of each corner, um, bring, making them look a little bit more like a mission style. And I'm very, very happy with them. So we've got the Lazy Susan corner and uh, top wall cabinet. So, yeah, really having a lot of fun, and hopefully, these will soon be in. But I'm going to do the flooring uh, before I put the cabinets in. I decided to do the flooring all the way through first. So, that means that the kitchen will be out of order for a little while longer. But, oh, lots going on. <laughs> Till next time, have a wonderful day.